Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for, uh, this is your bonus November, or your November bonus reading, I should say. You have this flexible card and this to be fair card. So uh, it is, I mean, we are in a time of flexibility. We have, um, you know, we have Uranus and Taurus, which has been a dominant energy for a little while. Uh, the reason I say it's a dominant energy, actually, someone asked me the other day, and uh, the reason I say that is because when uh, Uranus, especially last year, uh, when Uranus went into Taurus, we had like a lot of transits go through Taurus as well at pretty much the same time. Like Jupiter went through Taurus, and um, you know, I just think that it's kind of like a little bit of a dominant energy. And so Taurus is a fixed sign, and th when we, whenever we have these strong like fixed energies. And even though Jupiter is in Gemini now, uh, I still would say that, you know, we have to make sure that we're being, uh, you know, a little bit extra flexible or, you know, a little bit more flexible in our approach to whatever we're approaching, right? <laughs> so whatever we're working towards, we just need to be willing to adapt to the situation. And the funny thing is, is that your very first card here is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is my card of learning as you go. So I think for a lot of you that there are things like goals, things that you want to accomplish. I, I really feel that you want to change your life, which makes sense because, um, you know, you end with the Wheel of Fortune, which is great as your outcome card. But, you know, I, I think that, you know, with having had Pluto in your sign for so long that you definitely are hoping that your fortunes change or that things improve. And the Queen of Wands, like I said, says, now you're in a, a new time. You're in this new world, which I think I said in your last reading and I think you need to realize it you know if we've been if we feel like we've been punished for too long I think it's hard to break out of that it's almost like a astrological um, you know um, what, what do you call that Stockholm syndrome right <laughs> where it's like you start to you start to enjoy the pain you start you start to think like oh I've been kidnapped by Pluto and Capricorn and, and now now I have to stay with this energy right and I feel like this is encouraging you to kind of go out and explore and challenge those beliefs that you developed during Pluto and Capricorn where maybe you believe that things have to be hard or things have to be a struggle or whatever it is. And you know what, that's what I would do with this Queen of Wands. Uh, you actually have two cards as your crossing energy here. You have the Judgment card and the Two of Pentacles. You know, Two of Pentacles really does say this and that are true. So whatever you believe to be the truth is the truth. And I would pay attention to that. Uh, as always, work hard, play hard, which is, uh, you know, definitely an energy that I think Capricorn needs to pay attention to. You know, if you're working too much, then I think you need to play. If you're playing too much, you need to work. Uh, with the Judgment card, I think that you, again, need to step into a new world. Um, the Judgment people are rising up out of these coffins, and the coffin represents their old life. They're being called to a new life. And, you know, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. So I feel this is encouraging you to step in to your new life. Uh, in the area of what's on your mind, you have the two, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is a really good card. It's pre empress energy. It's, um, you know, gratitude and luxuries. It's also heaven on earth, and but it really just represents imagine, like thinking about what heaven on earth would be for you. And I think that you need to work on creating it. She has this little snail uh, right here, which is my favorite animal. And I feel that, you know, the snail wears its home on its back. And the whole point of the snail is that she has to focus on creating an environment of success in her life. And so I think it would be a great time for you to surround yourself with things that make you feel successful, uh, that bring success into your life. I feel a lot of you have learned independence through Pluto and Capricorn, like you've learned how to rely on yourself and you know how to take care of yourself and all those other great things. And the Nine of Pentacles says that you don't have to hold back any longer. She has three pentacles over here, six over here. She's willing to give three pentacles to any new opportunity that enters into her life, but she always keeps enough for herself. And so if there are any new opportunities coming in for you in work, business, love, money, spiritually, whatever, uh, as long as you don't overinvest, you'll be fine with the nine of pentacles. In the area of your foundation, you have the chariot. Uh, the chariot is a victory, of course, or a big win. The chariot's also about setting yourself apart. I think every single earth sign has had the chariot, so it kind of makes sense. And I feel that for a lot of you, you could be kind of leaving things behind at this time and, and just heading in a new direction uh, towards like a victory or a big win. Uh, this could also just be a simple change with the Wheel of Fortune at the end as well. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is a change in your fortunes. Uh, but to me, I, I think like I think the Wheel of Fortune is a good card, but you know I think people make it out to be better than it actually is. It is a good card, but you know it can represent a change in your destiny. But the Wheel of Fortune is really your life. It is your personal vision for your life, and the Chariot would be about like really taking control of that vision and making it happen.
happen. And uh, again, having this as a foundational card in the area of the foundation is very positive. It really says that you are now taking control, which is a good thing. Uh, next in the past position, you have this nightingale. It says love is all around. You also have this buffalo spirit. It says the abundant universe will provide. I definitely feel you are focused on your abundance or creating more abundance. And this could be any form of abundance. But uh, you know, you do have a lot of good money cards here, actually. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, uh, Three of Pentacles even in the past is pretty good. So I think that you could be improving your finances. The Nightingale also says that you are you are much more capable of accomplishing things than you realize, and I think you need to realize that Capricorn that you can do a lot, or you know you should start valuing yourself uh, more with this Nightingale card. You have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, of course, says teamwork makes a dream work. You know, I think for a long time you've put effort into things, but you haven't been getting the recognition. You know, this guy here is receiving recognition for the work that he has done. He is. They are, these people are kind of appreciating what that he has accomplished the goal, and the goal was always this plan right here. And so I feel for a lot of you, you know, again, this past position is what you're leaving behind. Um, but I feel like what you're leaving behind is not being appreciated for the work that you do. And now you could be doing things that where you are being more appreciated or you could be focusing on doing things where you you are being fairly compensated as well you know especially in work or business so i definitely see that as a, a you know a growth opportunity for you uh next in the very near future you have this reflect card and this create card yeah it is an amazing creative time any creative ideas that you have I would get to work, and especially if these, you know, these are things from the past. I think it would be an amazing time to think about, you know, any ideas that you've had from the past, and how can you, um, you know, kind of rebirth those ideas into the future, into the now, and how can you create them? Uh, you do have the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling left out in the cold, but the Five of Pentacles wants us to reflect and focus on our strengths, not our weaknesses. Uh, you know, I always say that fives have very easy solutions in the tarot, and the solution of the Five of Pentacles is. Is to focus on your strengths. It's also a card of focusing on what you do have, even if it's not very much. And so instead of focusing on the lack, you focus on the abundance. And, you know, we have that Buffalo spirit, which says the abundant universe will provide. And, you know, really, again, that's what I would focus on with the five of pentacles. I also feel that if you've like been feeling lonely, um, you do have a little bit of love here. So if you want love, you know, I feel like this is saying it's time to come out of the cold because you actually have the two of cups in the area of your future feelings. So again, there could be like a future connection uh, that you are charging towards because we go from the chariot up to the two of cups. And, you know, again, this could be like a very solid connection. Uh, next in your outcome row, you actually have three cards here. You have this, well, well, we'll start with this one. It says, disappointment is not the end. There's hope even after the darkest of nights. So if, again, Pluto on Aquarius, dark night. <laughs> Definitely dark night of the soul, especially in Capricorn. So I think a lot of you have been doing a lot of internal work, and now you are coming out the other side. Uh, you have this card that says, connect with eternity. Uh, connect to eternity within. It says, let yourself be held by love. Yes, I think you need to love yourself, really. You have this card that says, choose yourself. There you go. And it says, do not deny your importance. We literally said that at the beginning of the reading. So, you know, I feel that it's really important that you value yourself and value what you bring to the table. I think that if there's something you want, whether it's love, business, or otherwise, doesn't matter. I think that there is a situation that will um, you know, more than accept you for as you are. There's nothing that you have to change here. It's like, I'm, I, I kind of get the feeling here, Capricorn, that you are doubting whether or not you are a match to something. Like, that's what I'm getting off of that two of cups and the rest of the reading here. It's actually a good reading, but, you know, again, I feel like you're doubting whether you're a match, but I think you are exactly what something needs. And I'm going to say something because for some of you, it could be love, but for most, you know, for some of you, I feel this is more like work. Like, you're doubt. mostly I say that, because of that Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, she is has to learn as she goes. So she doesn't know if she meets the requirements of a job, for example, or you know, she doesn't know necessarily if she's gonna be able to do a good job or not up front. She has to find out by going on the on the journey. And I definitely feel these cards are saying that the universe is trying to build your confidence by making you do something that you might not feel capable of doing, but you can. So that's what I would say here. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands. Uh, Ten of Wands, of course, is a long journey. Ten of Wands is a card of being burdened, but he needs to put those burdens down, or he's about to put those burdens down because he's about to reach his home in the background. So you've definitely been on this long journey uh, trying to accomplish something. 
And, you know, personally, I like the Ten of Wands because he he planted those wands. These wands are his harvest, and he wanted them to grow. Uh, even though it's been a hard, long journey, he is getting those wands to grow. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, there actually could be a lot of growth and success coming in for you in you know over the next few months. And I feel you are very close to getting to the end of a journey. Um, one thing I would say is like I would be careful of doing too much for other people. Um, you know, sometimes that ten of wands, he, he can't see how close he is because he's got too many burdens in front of his face and. You know, sometimes we pick up burdens from other people or we want to help other people, which is fine. But I would just make sure that you're not like doing too, so much that you're not accomplishing your own goals or your the, your own things that you're trying to accomplish. And that's what I would pay attention to here. Uh, next, in your closest relationships, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, this is all relationships in your life. And this is a really good card for that because it says that you are giving to connections that give back to you. So like I said, I would make sure that you're not in any devil connections where you you give and give and give but you never receive anything in return and you know that's really what i would focus on with this six of pentacles is making sure that you're getting into those connections that really give to you that really fill you up that really nurture your soul and that are balanced right you know this guy here he has something in his back pocket so you know in, in at least in the states we have a saying like someone who has something in their back pocket it means like you know i kind of look at this as a person who has ulterior motives so i would make sure that you're getting into connections with people who are not uh, giving with expectation right you know it's like i think we call that covert contracts when like someone is like doing something for you expecting something in return without ever telling you i do get something about like needing to be careful of that and and this goes for all connections, so I would just be careful of people who are like that. Uh, next, in your future feelings, you have the Two of Cups. Uh, two of Cups is a perfect match, so if you want love, um, you know, again, there's not a ton of love here, but, you know, of course, love is always available to us, and this could be a strong connection. Uh, usually, the Two of Cups is like someone different than that's like different than your usual type, um, which is funny because the only run love readings, specific love readings that I've done on this channel, I did in like 2021 or 2022, I don't really remember. Uh, but what I do remember is everybody had the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is good because it says you're attracting like a different type of person. I think, you know, especially if you have a type of person, sometimes that's why your relationships don't work out is because you are picking the same type of person. So I think picking a different type of person is great. It's also great for communicating uh, or finding a person that you can communicate with. Uh, your outcome is amazing. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So there could be some sort of rapid change in your fortunes or some sort of improvement coming in with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is, is also feeling lucky. I feel that you are going to be feeling lucky in the future just because Pluto is leaving your sign, uh, which, you know, especially for Capricorn, it, you know, that is definitely going to feel very lucky for you. So, you know, the increased luck just be, could be because things are not such a grind or you're, you're not having to like force things to happen. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Queen of Wands, you have the Three of Pentacles, which you have twice here. It's funny that I basically said that, you know, it's almost like this is negative Three of Pentacles energy, and this is positive Three of Pentacles energy, which I kind of said earlier, that, you know, some of you, um, you know, it's like you could be doing things now where you are getting recognition for the work you did. And like I said, in this part of the reading, it's almost like you were doing work and people we're not recognizing the work that you have done. So I think that there's a switch here that's happening, uh, especially for those of you in work or business that need recognition, or like sometimes we need to get recognition for the work we do because maybe it would help us get a race or a promotion. And you know, I definitely feel this is much better. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Fool and the Five of Cups here. So two cards wanting to come out. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith, and which I think has come up for you in past readings. And, I, and definitely your November monthly reading in general, I think you had something about you know needing to make a move or needing to take a leap of faith. Uh, Five of Cups is about needing to let go of something that you no longer enjoy. And like I said, spiritual Stockholm Syndrome, maybe what you need to let go of is the struggle, right? Or, or thinking that things should be a struggle or have to be a struggle. And I kind of feel like that's what needs to change with that, those two cards. 
Uh, with the chariot, you have the four swords. Uh, this is a great, you know, it's a great time for resting, relaxing, recovering. We have a bunch of retrogrades at the end of the year. So I think anything you can do to like rest, relax, recover, heal, um, you know, any of the, any of that activity would be a really good idea. Uh, I also feel that hoping and praying, you know, this could be you asking for blessings. And, you know, I think with that abundant universe will provide card, it would be a great time to ask the universe for something. <laughs> and I think you need to ask. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Cups here. Nine of Cups is a good card, uh, but sometimes I feel like the Nine of Cups, he's not really doing anything, uh, but he has these cups behind him. You know, I, I wonder if you have kind of gathered a lot of energy. You know, you could read this as wish, wish fulfillment. Uh, you could read this as a lot of things, but, you know, one, there is a way to read the Nine of Cups that he is a barkeep and he is deciding now who to hand those cups out to. And I kind of feel like that's the position you're in, Capricorn, is you are in a position now where you have healed yourself or you are getting close to being done with healing yourself with the Ten of Wands. And the Nine of Cups says that now you are deciding like who and what to give your cups to. And the cups could just be your energy, your time, your effort, attention, you know, anything. Uh, with the Five of Pentacles, you have the Empress. You have more control. I mean, we, we basically said this with the Chariot, the Emperor, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I think it's time for you to take control of your destiny with the or just your life in general with that wheel of fortune in the chariot and and also the emperor. The emperor is kind of considered controlling, but I kind of feel that you need to take control. With the 10 of wands, you have the 8 of cups. I feel like you need to be careful of like what you work on. And you know, if you like let's say you're working with groups of people or other people, I just kind of feel like sometimes you know, we work with a person who just isn't working, right? And I feel this is saying like, don't waste your time uh, working on things that aren't working. I also, But I do feel pretty good about this as well because it's like, I kind of feel like you have a better sense of like what works and what doesn't work. And I also feel you need to trust that with the Eight of Cups. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is like a fun adventure, and I feel you need to go on an adventure with the Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. You know, I think you need to, you know, I think after Pluto in a, in a, goes into Aquarius, it might be a great time to, you know, treat yourself, treat treat yourself to something, like a vacation or, you know, doing something fun. And, you know, the Knight of Wands would also be like a more playful energy. So as far as socializing is concerned, I think being more playful, socializing, having fun is a good idea. With the Two of Cups, you have the Devil, uh, which is you showing up here. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I might actually pull another card because it's like, is this good or bad? Um, let, let's find out. I would say that it's good because you have the King and the Queen of Wands coming up, which these are two people who have a lot of desire for each other. You could be attracting a fire sign or a person with fire on their chart if you're looking for love. Uh, but you know, regardless, it doesn't matter what sign they are. I feel like you could be attracting a connection that has a lot of desire. The devil, uh, you know what, the, the only thing I will say is five of pentacles. There are two people who are left out in the cold on the five of pentacles. So, you know, there are two people right here. And I think I said this in your November reading that you could be attracting a person who is also left out in the cold. Now there's a lot of desire here, but you know, again, if you're attracting a person who's, you know, if you're both too attached to the past or if one person is too attached to the past or what happened, then that could cause some problems. And so, I mean, it's like you have two choices. You can either avoid it, and like avoid the person, right? Because if they're too attached to the past, um, then what's the point? Or you can call it out, right? And you can say, why are you acting weird? Why are you being weird? Why, why are you, why do you state, why are you distant, right? I would just ask a question because it might, you know, you have the two cups, which is communication and it might wake this person up. So especially if you're meeting a new person who seems distant or, you know, maybe you just sense something, right? Because at the beginning of the reading, we said, you need to pay attention to those feelings that you're getting, right, about everything that you enter into. And so I feel like ca calling it out would be the best choice. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ace of Swords. Feeling like a winner, really, is what I would say at the end here for you, Capricorn. I feel like you finally feel that you can get ahead. You know, I still don't think things are perfect, but, you know, I feel like you're getting closer and closer to, um, you know, things just feeling like you're getting ahead or feeling like you're moving forward, which is good. Uh, you have this table card that says hard work ahead. I mean, I, you had this in the last reading as well. I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe not the last reading, but the one before it. And, you know, I, you're a Capricorn, so I don't know. Uh, you know, of course, you're going to be working hard. 
you have this May card and this kite card that says vacation on it. I literally said vacation, so maybe be, if you could take a vacation between now and May of 2025, this could be very good for you. Uh, you have this grasshopper card that says situation in the balance that requires careful handling. And so, yeah, you could be definitely uh, needing to kind of balance things out in your life. Uh, also, if this is love, you know, again, I think you have a choice, especially I don't think you've met this person yet. And, you know, if you're meeting a new person, I think it could be a good person. I would just be careful of any feelings, weirdness, like we already talked about. And I actually wouldn't be careful. I would just call it out because I think just calling it out uh, would wake this person up. And, you know, that's maybe what it needs. Uh, you have this December card and this crack cup card that says dissatisfaction with life. I actually like this card <laughs> that says dissatisfaction with life because, um, Sometimes dissatisfaction is the thing that motivates us to success. And so if you are feeling dissatisfied, I would start working towards becoming satisfied or you know, finding a way to solve whatever this problem is. You have this unicorn card that says, use your intuition to make beneficial change. Yes, I think that you need to use your intuition at this time. We are in a very intuitive time in general. So your intuition could be pulling you towards things. I would be I would be paying attention to your pulls, especially with that queen of wands. She just feels inspired to move towards something. She feels excited when she thinks about something. And I'm saying something because it could literally be anything for you, Capricorn. And I feel like you need to move towards your excitement. But uh, overall, really good. Love it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.